Okay, good evening, brothers and sisters, um, children of God. We will continue on our, our Sabbath lesson uh, directed to our sister specifically. And today we're going to talk about singing. And um, not like singing like a musician, but you know, singing songs. I want to encourage our sisters to keep singing wherever they are. I, you know, growing up, um, I remember when I was growing up, my mother would be taking me to the farm or to the stream or anywhere, and she'll be singing, and we'll be singing and going along. And we won't be the only ones. You know, other people, too, you see them walking on the farm, they're singing to themselves. Whatever they are doing, maybe they're peeling cassava or pounding yam or doing anything. They're singing to themselves. And when uh, the, people, the place where I grew up and around me then, women always, whatever they're doing, whether they're doing house chores, they are singing any kind of song, be it Christian song, be it village song. They are singing to keep their soul and their spirit happy. Unfortunately, today most people do sing songs, but they sing demonic songs, songs that were sung by people who practice Satanism, uh, songs that are from Hollywood, and um, songs that are demeaning to women. Uh, look at, um, I, I turn on the television today, or uh, Channel O, or any of those nonsense, and all you've seen is people singing songs that are women dressed like prostitutes. Those songs are not spiritually uplifting. In fact, those songs are very depressing, actually. Those songs have psychological impact, especially on women, which begs the question, why do women keep dancing to these things? You see, today, most girls now, when they're singing to themselves, be, people will say, oh, you can't sing, you can't sing. They, they, they feel that those, only those who can sing by, you know, those who are on, America, on The Voice or America Got Talent or Nigeria, I don't know the kind of shows they're doing now anyway. But they think that it's only those people that should be singing. My sisters don't listen to those people. You see, when you sing song, it, it releases hormones and chemicals in your brain that make you optimistic about life. It projects self-confidence and hope. And it, it makes you live longer, basically. That's just the long and short of the whole thing. It makes you absorb stress and makes you live longer. If you look back in your life, you see a woman singing with the children at home, dancing with the children. Those women are the envy of the society. My sisters, please do not give up on singing to yourself. Don't listen to all this, you know, all this... Um, modern day vibe about songs which is only to do uh, for, kind of meant for those who can sing on america got I, uh, american idols or nigerian idols or whatever they call it Martina dance talent those things are nonsense when you sit on your own whether you're writing exams whether you're reading a book make sure you have a good song under your breath and when i say good song all those songs that are sung by hollywood and all those things these songs are terrible for you. No matter what Maria Carey is saying in her songs, the songs are terrible. The beating of the songs, they, they are psychologically terrible for you. Look for a nice song, a song that will uplift your spirit. Okay, my sisters, when I say that these Hollywood songs are dangerous for you, I'm not saying it out of joke. I'm very serious about it. You see, if you understand the concept of Satanism, you understand that music is what is one of the most important instruments that the devil uses. And that is why when you're singing all these demonic Hollywood songs, you see them doing all kinds of hand signals that people call Illuminati and all those nonsense. That These are all forms of Satanism. It's Satan worship. You cannot be going to church and singing songs with people who worship Satan. It doesn't make sense. It, it does not follow. So God does not regard such kind of things. When you sing those songs, even if they tell you, keep your head up, don't say no, all, all, all those kind of nonsense they tell you, they are not saying it to encourage you. Those songs are actually being sung to affect your spirit, to reduce your ability to resist temptation. That is what they mean by casting spells. Casting spells mean reducing your ability to say no to temptation. That's what spells mean. And when these Hollywood people sing these songs, 
they are casting spells on you. Unfortunately now, it's no longer in Hollywood. We are now seeing it in Hollywood. Nigerian musicians, even gospel musicians, are doing the same thing. Even so-called gospel musicians. The most important thing I want our sisters to understand is this. When a woman is singing to the children, she, the children are listening with their heart, with their soul. They are communicating on a very harmonic level. And that song is what keeps the family together. A family that sings together stays together because they are together, they are united and they keep going. So don't let the society influence you with this nonsense that if you cannot sing, just leave the singing to those who can sing. There's no such thing as whether you can sing or not. You sing to yourself and whatever you're doing, you sing to yourself, it puts you through life and you go through life even no matter the hardship you endure. Look at our mothers. Our mothers went through the Biafra war. If you even go behind, we went through a whole lot of hardship and yet the children never even felt it because despite the hardship they were going through, they still made out time to come together as a community to sing and dance. If you read the book by Olauda Ebonu, the only way he described Igbo community is that we are a nation of musicians, poets and writers. That is our that is what we do as a people. We always sing. I remember in my community we always come together every festive period to sing and dance. And the, there was that bondage within the community. We shouldn't let go of these things. Don't let the, the current wave of so called modernism or civilization affect our ability to resist. Because if you look at the communities where the so called civilization have affected they all have mental problems because they've let go of the ability to be happy in themselves. If you keep chasing money and chasing happiness or chasing wealth, you're never going to get it until you look within yourself and find the pleasure. And most times that pleasure in yourself is found from singing songs in your heart or under your breath. May the Most High bless you, our sisters, as you listen to this. And I do hope people don't see this as... Uh, this series of videos we've made as, as something that to criticize our sisters. Our sisters are very important to us. They hold the fabric of our future generation. May the Most High bless you all. Salam.